probably this will not be so popular, but I need to talk about traveling, leaving Enugu Airport and leaving Addis Airport. I can talk of the two. I've experienced them both and it's like day and night. So I took a flight to leave Enugu and without exaggeration, I had to show my papers at least 10 times. I think it was 14 before I was allowed to sit down somewhere. In Addis, I showed my passport twice. My, I mean, and that was it. That was it, two times. Nobody asked me to do Sunday for them or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever, or buy them water or do anything for them. They take your documents, check it, say thank you, show you where to go next. In Nigeria? Before you get a chance to sit down somewhere, you are, you are already like exhausted. Um, you feel intimidated. I mean, there's, I don't know how to put it. It's very uncomfortable basically, because you know, whatever they're gonna ask you, you have to remain polite, you have to be quiet, you have to answer. Um, because it might bear some consequences, right? If you're like, no, I don't want to talk about that. Whatever. I just felt it was so stressful. And then I finally reached the area where I could sit. I decided to buy myself a drink because I was thirsty and I wanted to like comply, right? Because you don't bring drinks inside the airport. You buy it after, after the whole check-in, like the duty-free area. So I bought myself a Coke. Took like three, four, zips, closed the bottle and wanted to board. Little did I know, I wasn't allowed to bring that bottle onto the airplane. And it's not like anybody told me. It's not like the restaurant that was literally like 20 meters away from the airplane where I entered, told me anything that it wouldn't be allowed to bring the bottle. And it's also not like they checked people's luggages or backpacks or or bags, you know? So had it been I bought my Coke and put it in my backpack, nobody would have talked. But because I, I was holding it in my hand, the lady was like, I have to leave this outside. Then I told the lady, but this I bought this inside the airport, inside after all the checks, you know? The reason why they don't allow liquids inside the airplane is because they're afraid it might be like an explosive or something. But I bought it at the airport. The lady insisted. She said I should drink out the bottle. Have you ever drink one bottle of Coke like in a minute? It's not possible. Now I understand. People might have bigger problems than this in Nigeria. But really, 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 if you want to bring tourism to this country, if you want to bring in investors to this place, entering and exiting shouldn't be a big deal. Like make it as comfortable as possible. And people will go and tell their friends, hey, traveling to Nigeria is, is like a piece of cake. It's not a problem. But if you ask any stranger, any foreigner about his experience at the border, I will really put my hand into fire that they will share similar stories. It's just not a good thing. It's not a good thing. The immigration, the airport is the first thing you see when you come and the last thing you see when you come. And it's not an African thing. Like in Ethiopia, people are polite, they help you, they don't beg you for money, and they don't waste your time. It's as simple as that. And if your argument for this poor service delivery is that they are not being paid well, then we need to change it. Governments should own up. This is important. You cannot have officers, workers, staff, airport staff treating people being public beggars, basically asking for things when they're just there to work and provide a service. If it's for security, perfectly fine. To check your passport, perfectly fine. But not 13 times. And not with questions about my marriage and if I know how to cook food. There's, you know, there's a difference about being polite and wasting somebody's time. It's as simple as that. So if there's anything, anything at all that I can do to improve this situation, let me know because we need to improve it. Don't get people frustrated at the airport. 
Be a service provider. Let people pass. Let them go. Don't hold them back. They will come back. But if that's how you behave, people will always think bad of it. Remember, the first thing and the last thing they see of Nigeria is the airport. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a solution and make this statement as calm and solution-oriented as possible. It has to change. It has to change. We cannot continue like this. I'm flying back on Friday and I have to mentally prepare for the arrival already now because I know what's going to happen I'm going to be the last one leaving that airport because they're going to ask me tons of questions and I'm not even traveling with kids like when you travel with kids it's even worse because you have them screaming and shouting and running around and hungry and thirsty and whatever traveling alone but I'm already stressed out about my upcoming trip not because I'm afraid of flying because of the stress